Hey guys, Devamitra, one more time. A very warm welcome and a very good morning to all of you. Hope you guys are doing well. So after celebrating Independence Day, uh, I think you are in that mode to connect with me and to listen my uh, topic and uh, to uh, do conversation with me. Okay. So guys, kindly uh, in my today's session, what I'm going to talk about uh, that is the Java uh, MCQ question patterns in Java. Okay. So kindly communicate with me and if there is any question you have in your mind, kindly ask me in comment below. Okay. So right now I'm going to talk about the Java programming. Okay. In the, uh, the multiple questions uh, that can be asked or that can be, uh, you can get uh, any interview. I'm going to give uh, that uh, an idea to you. Okay. So let's get started guys. The first one is uh, who invented Java programming? So, do you have any idea, guys? Okay, right now I'm going to give you that idea. The explanation is Java programming was developed by James Gosling at Sun Microservices in Microsystem, sorry, in 1995. James Gosling is well known as the father of Java. So, uh, which statement is true about Java? The first one is Java is a sequence dependent programming language. Java is a code dependent programming language. Java is a platform dependent programming language. Java is a platform independent programming language. Okay. So, the answer is Java is called platform independent language as it primarily works the principle of compile one run everywhere. Which con component is used to compile, debug, and execute the Java program? The first one is JRE. The second one is JIT. The third one is JT, JDK. The uh, fourth one is JVK. The answer is explanation JDK is a core component of Java environment and provides all the tools executable and binaries required to compile, debug, and execute a Java program. Which one of the following is not a Java feature? The first one is object oriented. The uh, second one is use of pointers. The third one is portable. The fifth one is dynamic and extensible. The answer is pointer is not a Java feature. Java provides an efficient abstraction layer for developing without using a pointer in Java. Features of Java programming are portable, architectural neutral, object-oriented, robust, secure, dynamic, and extensible. Okay. So the next question is, which of these cannot be used for a variable name in Java? That is identifier and keyword. Identifier and uh, third option is keyword. And so the explanation is keywords are specially reserved words that cannot be used for naming a user defined variable, for example, class, for, etc. Okay. So the uh, sixth portion is. What is the extension of Java code file? Dot JS, first one. The second one is dot text. The third one is dot class. The uh, fourth one is dot Java. The explanation is dot Java file have dot Java extension. So which environment variable is used to set the Java path? The first one is Maven path. The second one is Java path. The third one is Java and the uh, fourth one is Java Home. Okay. So, explanation Java Home is used to store a path to the Java installation. Okay. So, which of the following is not an OOPS concept in Java? The first one is polymorphism. The second one is inheritance. The third one is compilation. And the fourth one is in encapsulation. Okay. So there are four OOP concepts that uh, in Java, inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, and abstraction. So what is not the use of this keyword in Java? The first one is referring to the instant variable when a local variable has the same name. The next one is passing itself to the method of the same class. The third one is passing itself to another method. The fourth one is calling another uh, constructor in constructor 
any the answer is this is an important keyword in java it helps to distinguish between local variable and variable passed in the method as parameters which of the following is a type of polymorphism in java programming the first one is multi polymorphism the second one is compile time polymorphism uh, the third one is multi level polymorphism and the uh, next one is execution time polymorphism the answer is uh, these there are two types of polymorphism in java the first one is compile time polymorphism and the second one is run time polymorphism okay so what is function in java the first one is floating point value assigned to a floating type floating point value value assigned to a integer type the third one is uh, integer value assigned to floating type integer value assigned to floating type okay the answer is none none of this above okay so the next question is uh, what is the extension of compiled java classes the doc dot txt dot js dot class dot dot java the answer is the compiled java files have dot class extension the next question is a uh, quick exception is Shown when Java is out of memory. The first one is memory error. The second one is out of memory error. The third one is memory out uh, of bounds exception. The uh, fourth one is memory full exception. The answer is the XML flag has no difficult value, and XML uh, typically has a difficult uh, uh, default value of two fifty six MB. Common use for this flag. Is when you encounter a Java dot language dot out of memory error. Okay. So which of these are selection statements in Java? The first one is break. The second one is continue. The third one is for with bracket and the sixth, uh, fourth one is if. Expansion, continue, and break are jump statements, and for is a looping statement. Okay. So, which of these keywords is used to define interfaces in Java? That INTF, INTF, uh, interface, interface. Okay. The explanation is interface keyword is used to define interfaces in Java. So, which of the following uh, is a super class of A3 class in Java, array list, abstract class, object class, string. Object class is super class of A3 class in Java. Okay. So, post URL is having length of content 127. Is it 127, 126 runtime error, compile error? Answer explanation is none. Which of the follow is not a Java profiler? The first one is J profiler, second one is Eclipse profiler, the third one is JVM, and the fourth one is J console. Memory leak is like holding a strong reference to an object, although it would never be needed anymore. Objects that are reachable but not leave are considered memory leak. Various tools help us to identify memory leak. Okay. So what will be, uh, what, oh, sorry, which of these packages contains the exception stack overflow in Java? That is java.io, java.system, java.language, and java.utilization. Okay. The explanation, the answer is none of these above. So which of these statements is incorrect about thread? The first one is start method is used to begin execution of the thread. Run method is used to begin execution of a thread before start method in special cases. A thread can be formed by implementing runnable interfaces only. A thread can be formed by a class that extends thread class. Okay. 
the explanation is run method is used to define the code that co constitutes the new new thread it contains the code to be executed start method is used to begin execution of the thread that is execution of run run itself a never used for starting execution of the thread which of this keyword are used for the block to be examined for exception the first one is check the uh, second one is throw the third one is catch and the fifth one is try try is used for the block that needs to check for uh, explanation okay so which of this uh, one of the following is not an access modifier the first one is protected the second one is void the third one is public and the a uh, fourth one is private answer explanation public private protected and default are the access modifiers so what is the numerical range of a chart uh, data type in java 0 to 20, uh, 256 uh, minus 128 to 127 or 0 to 6555 uh, or 0 to 3 to 767 char mod uh, occupies six uh, bit in memory so it supports 216 and from 0 to 6 uh, the type 65 which class provides system independent server side implementation the first one is server the second one is server reader the third one is socket and the server socket server socket is a java dot net class which provides system independent implementation of server side socket connection so which of the following is true about servlet servlet can use the full functionality of the java class library servlet execute within the address space of web server platform independent and uses the functionality of java class library servlet execute within the address space web server servlet view are platform independent because they are written in java the expression is servlet execute within the address space of a uh, web server since it is written in java is platform independent the full functionality is available to library okay so what i have talked about i have provided you some information about the java uh, programming language in multiple questions okay so guys uh, kindly subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and comment below bye for now bye